as conservatives. So Madonna is a deeply disturbing individual, and she's been disturbing for a while, and it was brought to my attention. Candace Owen and Madonna have their heads against each other, and it's for a reason none other than Madonna's allegedly immoral and misleading actions. But how has Madonna reacted? Stay connected to find out. It's been weeks since Candace Owens accused Madonna of touching upon pedophilia in her book Sex, which was released in 1992 and featured the pop star, as well as others, in various states of undress along with erotic stories and musings, and this accusation doesn't seem to go away. Featuring photographs by Stephen Meisel and edited by the late writer Glenn O'Brien, the book, which sold 150,000 copies. On its first day of release in the U.S., has Madonna assuming the role of a fictional character named Dita. But the worry is that a number of her characters' stories accompany the provocative images. She writes in her foreword to the book that it is a dream and urges readers to use condoms in real life in recognition of the rising cases of HIV. Ideas at the time. As a result, Candace took to her eponymous podcast and called Madonna a deeply disturbing individual before reading an excerpt that she said was taken from the book. The conservative commentator said the writing is a work of fiction, so Madonna is not saying that she did these things. In fact, she's playing a character in this book. She's created a young character. Owens then went on to read an excerpt of the character, saying that romance with the young can be fun if you're in the mood. The character, Owens continued, also told of her experience with a teenage boy who hardly had any pubic hair. According to Owens, the character relates how her relationship with the boy went from his visits to her apartment and watching her put on makeup as she got ready to go out to have an intimate relationship. Also, Owens quoted the character as concluding that the experience was probably the most erotic lovemaking she ever had and ended the paragraph with you win some and you lose some. After reading the excerpt, Owens said that Madonna should have been banished from society for the now scarcely available book. Upon publishing this, she should have just been banished, old school banished. Just send her out to an island onto herself because this is dot 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 she's touching upon pedophilia. I don't know what age it is that boys hardly have any pubic hair, but I know it's not old enough for a woman to be talking about having sex with them. Society, right? I, I, upon publishing this, she should have just been banished, old school banished, right? Just send her out to an island onto herself because this is really, she's touching upon pedophilia. I don't know what age it is that boys hardly have any pubic hair, but I know it's not old enough for a woman to be talking. Owens then went to the crux of the podcast segment where she criticized Madonna for her new covers for three European editions of Vanity Fair. In the Italian, French, and Spanish versions of the magazine, Madonna is seen portraying the Virgin Mary while wearing a gilded Dolce & Cabana headpiece and vintage veil. The religious iconography continues throughout the spread, with the Like a Prayer singer recreating the Last Supper. Appearing to portray Jesus in the imagery, Madonna is seen surrounded only by women. Calling it a disturbing shoot, Owens said, if you're wondering whether or not there is a hell, Madonna's certainly going to find out after this one. She went on to describe the cover image as demonic, adding, yeah, let's just mock Christians. Let's just put the demonic nature of everything that you represent by using Christian imagery. Imagining that Vanity Fair staffers approached Madonna and told her that she should have been locked up in 1992 over the excerpt from her sex book, Owens said, this is the world that we live in. And I don't know why it is that people cannot recognize how important it is for us to fight back culturally and to call this stuff out as soon as we see it because there was an entire generation of children coming up and they think that this is normal behavior. She went on, they believe that it renders them cooler and freer to do things like this because their favorite celebrities are doing it. And look what it's bought them. It's bought them success and accolades and awards and trophies. On stage being perverse, she is honestly someone that is in need of saving and she is someone that should be prayed for. She's a tremendously unhappy individual. I know that for a fact that she is unhappy. And so the only way that she feels that she can feel trace moments of happiness dot 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 is for her to do things like this, which is just get attention, feed the outrage machine, get attention, get clicks, get likes, make yourself a part of the conversation so that you feel important because you don't feel important important enough in the capacity of your own personal life, Owen said. She is honestly someone that is in need of saving and she is someone that should be prayed for. She's a tremendously unhappy individual. I know that for a fact that she is unhappy. And so the only way that she feels that she can feel trace moments of happiness, the only way that she can experience those trace moments of happiness is for her to do things like this, which is just get attention, right? Outraged machine, feed the outrage machine, get attention, get clicks, get likes, make yourself a part of the conversation so that you feel important because you don't feel important enough in the capacity of your own personal life. Well, could she be right? <laughs> Meanwhile, in a 1992 interview with Newsweek while promoting sex, Madonna told David Anson how her Catholic upbringing was related to the erotic themes in her book. When I was growing up, there were certain things people did for penance 
Lawrence, she said, I know people that slept on coat hangers, or kneeled on uncooked rice on the floor and prayed for hours. And for me as a child, I think somehow things got really mixed up. There was some ecstasy involved in that. And the whole thing of crucifixion, a lot of that, the idea of being tied up. It's surrendering yourself to someone. I'm fascinated by it. I mean, there's a lot of pain equals pleasure in the Catholic Church. And that is also associated with bondage and S&M. Madonna continued, also, just the idea of role playing. If a person is really aggressive and in control in their everyday life, the idea of changing that role around and being tied up, being able not to be the person that's running the show, cracking the whip, there's something titillating about it, certainly for me. But let me just preface all of this by saying that for me it's always about mutual consent, never about being forced or taking advantage of someone. She said, well, you bet that fans are commenting on this sensitive issue and these are their reactions. The fan wrote, not only demonic, but so very sad. Unbelievable that people actually enjoy watching this. It's shameful. But then, people don't feel shame anymore, do they? Anything goes. Another fan added, and worst of all, there is very little meaning in this. Is it funny? Is it smart? It's not even that shocking nowadays to be honest. Time for Madonna to retire. Meanwhile, the pop star has also been trending on Twitter after being accused of child trafficking. And no, this accusation didn't start as a hot topic among the fans. A much bigger organization made the allegations. The Ethiopian World Federation, which advocates to change the laws that harm all black people, accused the singer of exploiting children. Well, the EWF requested Malawian President Lazarus Chekwera to investigate Madonna's charity raising Malawi. In case you didn't know, Madonna went on a self-fulfilling journey to Africa on non-profit claims to support orphans and vulnerable children by providing health and educational programs. But the Ethiopian World Federation isn't buying that and quite frankly, the fans aren't either. The organization has now asked the material girl singer and her associates to be restricted from Africa and not be given access to African children until an investigation into child child trafficking, sex exploitation, sexual slavery, adoption reversal, the threat of coercion, fraud, deception and abuse of power or vulnerability is completed. Additionally, in the EWF's petition, they cited Madonna's 1992 disturbing book as a cause for concern. The book included adult content, sensitive information, bestiality, sadomasochism, and LGBTQ content. Whereas, LGBTQ conduct is reportedly punishable by law in the country of Malawi. Also, the EWF claimed that in the book, gay PRN stars were photographed in erotic pictures with Madonna performing vulgar SX acts with the same SX which should have been disclosed during her adoption case in 2006 in Lilongwe, Malawi. The organization further claimed that her book's child erotism content, religious imagery, and other vulgar media prompted her to open her own orphanage, raising Malawi to host social experiments on vulnerable African children in Malawi. As expected, fans are going bananas over Madonna's allegedly immoral character. A fan reacted, there is a Malawi trafficking ring for sure. I know someone who was abducted and later dropped off after the authorities found out where she was. Human trafficking is real there. While another fan wrote, child abuse isn't funny, cute or acceptable and we certainly don't need perverts laying down the law on what's acceptable behavior. But some fans aren't buying it as a fan wrote, I don't think she's doing that. They believe her recent news and shows are vulgar, IMO. They don't like it. She's a little old for this stuff, but she has a problem with age and is doing everything to combat it. It's somewhat pathetic. And another fan added, it's probably a publicity stunt to boost ticket sales for her upcoming world tour. Most of Madonna's fans and friends are perverts and pedophiles she knows how to trigger them, getting them off, making them imagine the sordid details of sex crimes filed against her. Well, whether or not Madonna is engaging in disturbing activities for clout, it is clear that the pop star desperately wants to attract the public's attention which begs the question should the public be worried. Remember, our information is drawn from gossip and opinions. But, there's more where that came from so stay connected to enjoy more entertainment.